Hi, I'm Honda Pro Jason. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through the new Honda Passport, showing you everything you need to know outside, inside, even with some tips and tricks. So follow me and let's have some fun. Starting up here in the front, the headlights are all LEDs, so you have LED low beams, LED high beams, daytime running lights are LEDs, and then you have your turn signals down here along with fog lights. Parking sensors up front, and Honda Sensing is now standard on every Passport. So the Honda Sensing, the radar is going to be hidden right behind this Honda H, and then it's going to use the camera up on the top. And now, let's come around the side. All Honda Passports come standard with 20-inch alloy wheels. And have you ever noticed that the Honda H on the center cap lines up perfectly with the valve stem. How cool is that? Coming up here to the side, these side mirrors fold forward and backward. They also have an integrated turn signal. The key fob does way more than just start, unlock, and lock the doors. You can actually put all the windows down on those hot summer days to air out the inside of the vehicle. All you have to do is press the unlock button once, press again and hold it. All the windows will go down and your sunroof will open up. If you need to put the windows back up, you don't want to climb back into the vehicle, you can simply separate the key from the key fob. You put the key inside the door, turn it to the lock position once, and again, all the windows go up and the sun shuts. Roof rails are standard on top of the vehicle, and then Honda, to make it more convenient to fill up with gas, we have a capless fuel system. In the rear of the Honda Passport, we have LED brake lights, backup sensors, and dual exhaust tips. Opening the rear hatch is so simple. You can open it up with the key fob or just keep the key fob in your pocket and hands-free give it a little kick underneath the back bumper and look at this, tailgate opens right up. Revealing over 50 cubic feet of storage room right back here with those back seats up. But if you need more room, you simply press this button here, press this other button here to drop the back seats down. You have over 100 cubic feet of room. If you're looking for storage, Honda has some hidden storage right underneath here. You lift this up, there's hidden storage there. If you need a little bit more, you lift this area up, use this cool little hook that Honda has to attach to the tailgate, allowing you to use this extra space without having to hold that up. If you decide to use this for ice, for a tailgating party, when you're done, you simply turn these tabs, lift this out, and you can clean it. Just that simple. And now for the inside. Inside the new Honda Passport, starting at the steering wheel, you will have all the controls you ever need at your fingertips. On the left-hand side, you have your audio and radio controls, along with your Bluetooth functionality. On the right, you have all your sensing and your cruise control. Looking straight ahead at the instrument cluster, you have your speedometer and tachometer, and then a screen with customizable apps in it. So you can go down and look at these apps. You have the trip computer, a wheel drive torque, phone, Apple CarPlay, navigation. If you want to open up any of these, you simply press enter and it opens up right there on the screen. Looking to your right, you have this beautiful touch screen with what looks like eight different apps on it. But if you swipe your finger to the left, you'll see another eight apps and then some more apps on the last page. And you can totally customize this. So if you like the My Honda Music app on the main page, you simply press that app and with your finger, you can drag it all the way to the front and let it go wherever you like. Moving down, you have a tri-zone climate control. So it's passenger, driver, and rear have their own separate climate. You have a spot here for your cell phone, heated seats, a 2.5 amp charger for your phone and a power outlet, and two cup holders, which are massive, but also have this big space in between the two of them. The reason for that space is for your coffee mug handle. It fits right in like that. Electronic gear selector, and then another open space here that's actually can be closed with this door for security. You have two more inputs for your phone and charging systems and a tray that's removable that you can actually put your cords in so your cords don't get stuck. Leather trim seats and one of my favorites, the armrest that's actually height adjustable. And that's the inside of the new Honda Passport. I hope you guys have enjoyed me walking around the new Honda Passport. I hope you learned a little bit too. As always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.
Hey guys, one more thing. Let's say you press a button inside the door to open up the gas door, and the gas door doesn't open up. Maybe it's frozen. Well, Honda has a backup for that. Inside the trunk area, there's a hidden compartment. Take you off the cover, you'll see a trigger. Pull back on this trigger with your fingers, and the gas door automatically opens up. How cool is that?